Welcome or welcome back to my channel everyone. Today's video is going to be very quick. It's an unboxing video. I just got home from work and I'm starving so I'm going to try to go through this very very quickly but I wanted to film the unboxing and I'm also really excited to um, look at the books and things that I got. So here we go. I have a package from LitJoy. It's upside down but uh, yes I have a package from LitJoy. So it looks so nice. So I did kind of splurge on this box, but I also had some points saved up from something else that I bought. So I did get to take quite a bit of, quite a good chunk of the money off of this order, which was nice. And that's the only reason that I ordered all this stuff. Otherwise, I, I never would have spent the money on it. But since I had the points saved up and I had some credit already, I was like, I may as well spend that. <laughs> so I got the Strange the Dreamer blanket, which I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing, but... Oh my gosh, it's it feels different than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be a lot thinner. So this is actually good. It's very nice and thick. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a round blanket. I'll, maybe I'll, uh, I guess I'll put a picture of it on Instagram at some point. But anyway, so that's the first item. I'm not going to go, to, I'm not going to take too long on any of these things. But yeah, here's the first item, which I haven't even read Strange the Dreamer yet, but I did just order the special edition copies because... Lainey Taylor, I love her writing. I know I'm gonna love these, and so I had to get them while I had the chance. So, um, yeah, anyway. And little Lunicorn stickers and a Lunicorn pin that you get free with your first order. So next is a Strange the Dreamer bookmark. A very nice tasseled metal bookmark. A little teaspoon. It says one spoon to rule them all. And... I just, I've been looking for a really nice bookish teaspoon because I've been drinking a lot of tea lately. So for my tea and coffee, I think I'm going to use this um, very gently. <laughs> but yeah, one spoon to rule them all. And the final thing is this Strange the Dreamer art print, which I've been, I'm very glad that it's here now. I finally found my, I finally found my Percy Jackson poster that came with the book set that my parents got me. And I've been waiting to hang this up until... This one came so that I could put this one up and then see where this one fit. So so this is finally here and I can hang this up and then put this up. I have uh, a couple posters up here. Only one actually bookish. I just tried to point to it. Only one actually bookish poster, but yeah, those those are my posters. So I'm going to put both of, both of these up there. So that's what I got from LitJoy. Awesome. I've, I've been waiting for this stuff to come. Now I have a box from Barnes & Noble. But I have a major complaint about this box. Like, do you see this? What the heck, Barnes and Noble? Okay, I had this is a major complaint. Um, yeah, that's some really janky shipping. Uh, some really janky boxing. So, anyway, I'm gonna hope that they're all here. I honestly, I know how many I got, so I guess I'll count them as I go through. Yeah, it's it's like not even close. Yeah, the books are all sliding out the back end. I just slit the top and it's just open in here. So I don't understand why it's packaged like that. I think that's very bad. <laughs> but anyway, we're just going to hope that they're all there. Uh, I guess when the UPS man dropped it off, he did say to like <laughs> to, to let him know if anything was missing because that's how it was when you know, when he picked it up to bring it to us. Yeah, hopefully everything's there. And it looks like everything's here, but that's just some really poor uh, boxing, in my opinion. And I guess it is possible that the box just broke somehow, but still, there, there's something off about that, okay? <laughs> anyway, I only got these because Barnes & Noble was having an awesome sale, which one of my Instagram friends made me aware of. I don't know if I should thank her for that or not, because I, I wouldn't have bought all of these. But uh, anyway, I saw that she had gotten this one, Peter Pan, and I have been looking for a really, really pretty version of Peter Pan. I do have a Peter Pan book, but I wanted just like a beautiful one. And mine is also really tiny, so I don't know if it's abridged or something. Let me Let me get it. So this is mine. <laughs> it's really, really little. And then here's this one, new one. So yeah, I really, really wanted a really a nice version of Peter Pan. So these were not just like on a whim buys, most of them. Some of them were, 
but some of them I've been thinking about for a really long time and I just haven't found them for a good price. These were a great price. So anyway, trying to do this quickly. <laughs> um, so here's Peter Pan, beautiful Peter Pan edition. Greek myths, which, you know, anytime I can get my hands on anything Greek, I'm, I'm gonna do it. So since it was a good price and it's beautiful, I got this one too. Treasure Island, another one that I will never pass up if I can get a pretty version. So even though I already have a Treasure Island book and then a collection of Robert Louis Stevenson books, which includes Treasure Island, I now have a third one, <laughs> but it, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, it's gonna look great. The Little Mermaid and other classics or other fairy tales. I do really want to read some of the, like the classic fairy tales. You know, I know all of the Disney versions, but I want to read the classic versions, so I had to get this one. I love The Little Mermaid. It's one of my top five favorite Disney movies, like for sure. I love it. Alice in Wonderland, another one that I really have been wanting to read. I just, <laughs> I just rewatched the original Disney Alice in Wonderland, and it was not how how I remembered it. But Alice in Wonderland is a story that I kind of really like for some reason. Anyway, I picked up this one, Aladdin and the Arabian Nights, and Aladdin is another one of my top favorite Disney movies, so I'm really excited to read the actual tale as well. Aesop's Fables, definitely some childhood favorites in here, just the nostalgia is going to be incredible. Grimm's Fairy Tales, and I know that all of these are like children's versions, so they're not going to be, they might not be the exact stories, you know, they might be kind of dulled down a little bit but I've been wanting to read Grimm's fairy tales for a long time as well. And the last time that I found a collection of Grimm's fairy tales, it was like $30 or more. So I definitely had to buy this for $5. I was like, yes, please. So yeah, Grimm's fairy tales. Robin Hood, another one that I've just wanted to get my hands on. I have like several different versions of this saved um, on my Amazon wish list, like at least five different versions. <laughs> and so now I have a really, really pretty one. It's gonna be a lot of fun to read. Edgar Allan Poe, Complete Tales and Poems. This one was not actually on sale, but it was still a really good price for all of these books in such a beautiful edition. So yeah, I have all of Poe's work now, which I, I really, really like some of Poe's works and then I really don't like other ones. So I guess I'm just gonna have to go through and find out which ones I like and which ones I don't, but I like enough of them that I thought this was totally worth it. And the final book is not actually for me, it's for my sister, but I have Jane Austen. This has four tales. It has Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Emma, and Persuasion. I thought it was a really pretty version and my sister loves Jane Austen. I was asking her a while ago if she had the books and if she wanted them. So when I saw this, I was like, all right, I have to. It was again, really, really good price for four books in one in a beautiful edition. So anyway, that's all of them. I will count them now. So they are all there. Yeah, they are all there. It kind of looks like the box just ripped from how heavy it was maybe or something. Maybe it wasn't handled well. So yeah, they're all there. Nothing was stolen or anything. And maybe Barnes and Noble had packaged them a little bit better. And like I said, the box, it kind of looks like it just ripped on all four sides, but still that shouldn't happen. Yeah. So just be aware of that. I, I really expected better from Barnes and Noble. Like you hear so many great things about Barnes and Noble and then the first box I've ever gotten from them was just completely destroyed. Um, yeah, that's the box. So anyway, <laughs> I was kind of freaked out about that at first, but the books all look great. None of them are damaged or anything. Yeah, so that's it for this video. I'm going to go eat now. I am very, very hungry, but I hope you all enjoyed it. This was another awesome book haul and I hadn't thought I was going to be doing any more of these anytime soon, but like I said, they were having a sale and I, I couldn't pass it up. So they're all my books and the stuff I got from Blitjoy as well, which looks gorgeous. And I'm looking forward to hanging up the poster and using the other things. So yeah, very awesome. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down, but let me know why and how I can improve in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. That would be awesome or, you know, share this with your friends who enjoy bookish things. Yeah, I guess that's it. I hope to see you in the next one and have a blessed day, everyone.